If you're in sales, you're going to want to watch this and take notes. Write that down. Although you shouldn't automatically classify different types of prospects and clients into specific groups, it's also critical that you be aware of particular human traits. Listen for the following personalities and learn how to handle them professionally. The silent prospect. This prospect will listen to everything you say, but doesn't want to agree with you for fear of getting too involved and being sold. Ask direct questions and force them to state opinions. Play the same game. Silence. Don't rush your presentation, but rather be patient and encourage the prospect's involvement. The analytical prospect. This prospect likes to thoroughly analyze and ponder your presentation and normally ends up telling you that they want to think it over. Tell the prospect how your product or service has evolved. Review the research and explore the important areas in detail. Be thoughtful and slow in your presentation to demonstrate that you are also analytical. The technical prospect. This prospect needs the details, components, and exact procedures. Don't make any statements or claims unless you can back it up with nuts and bolts of how, why, where, when, and what. The shopping prospect. This prospect wants to know the price right up front. You have to sell value and delay the exact figures and final negotiations until the end of your presentation. If you haven't built value, they will stall by asking for further material, references, or more detailed proposals. The hostile prospect. This prospect makes it very clear that they've been hurt or complains and disagrees a lot and in general lets you know that they don't need you. Stress benefits in your presentation and be positive, optimistic, and friendly. The know-it-all prospect. This prospect normally has a huge ego. They try to impress you or even intimidate you. Help this prospect feel that they are the teacher and you are the student. Show appreciation for their expertise and demonstrate the personal benefits they will receive with your product or service. The closed-minded prospect. This prospect can be abrasive and skeptical of anything new or different. Get a commitment that they will at least listen and then demonstrate the fear of loss by not using you or your company or your product or service. The security conscious prospect. This prospect will display a strong need for understanding and even friendship. Don't be overpowering or threatening. Relax and give a presentation that stresses the improvement of their personal family or job situation. Concentrate on facts and figures that offer reassurance to their well-being and peace of mind. The procrastinator prospect. This prospect usually sounds and acts disorganized. They tell you that they want what you have, but they need to wait until next week, next month, or next leap year. The prospect is simply avoiding the chance of failure. You need to stress the benefits to them, cite case histories, offer referrals or satisfied clients, and sell your credibility. End up by stressing the risk that they will be taking by waiting. The bug passer prospect. This prospect will tell you all of the things that you want to hear. The price seems right. They understand the details and they see the advantages of getting started. You may not have a decision maker at all and no amount of skills will help you sell someone that doesn't have the authority to make a decision. The Doubting Thomas prospect. This prospect usually expresses doubt or disbelief about everything you say. Use references, referrals, and overload them with success stories and overwhelming evidence. The image conscience prospect. This prospect thinks only what it will look good for them and what other people will think. Show how the results of your product or service will be highly visible to everyone and will increase their prestige and image.